everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Devin and today I'm doing a very special unboxing of the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 25. So right away we can tell that Louis Vuitton has their holiday wrapping. It is a red ribbon instead of the traditional blue and also a cute little card with gold embossed lettering. So here she is, absolutely stunning and beautiful. This color is really beautiful. It also comes in black with tan lettering and it really stands out. The two colors are really contrast. I really like this taupe color because it's very sleek. I feel like this is really a good elevated style compared to the traditional speedy. One thing I noticed right away with this bag is the zipper. The zipper actually goes all the way down to where the straps would connect. And this is a little bit different than the traditional Speedy because the traditional Speedy kind of only goes to about right here. So it is more difficult to open. This new zipper going down all the way really allows you to open the Speedy a lot more. You can get a lot wider of an opening to get into it. So inside we have a little bag with a lock. And we also have the strap. So the strap right now is on almost the lowest. There's one more and there's two more high. So we can see when it's on, I'm very small and this is kind of where it goes. I actually would probably put this a little bit, a little bit lower, but really this is an absolutely beautiful bag. I have zero complaints about it. It's perfect in every way and I really like how stiff it is compared to the canvas. The inside's also really beautiful. It's really a uh, soft leather inside and it does have a zipper also inside. And opposite of that, another open pocket. I'll show you compared to the traditional Speedy. I have an older, really vintage Speedy. It's a 30, so it's a size bigger than this Speedy, which is the 25, but just so you can kind of see the difference between the two. So this is my vintage Speedy. She's over 10 years old. She's very worn. You can see the handling. I actually had the sides repaired because the hardware broke and this strap is not the original strap. This is a different strap than what I bought, but you can see the two Speedies size-wise compared to each other. This is the Bandolier 25. This is the traditional Speedy 30. I do feel like the traditional Speedy, I have to put an organizer inside to kind of keep the shape so there is an organizer in here right now. You can see the zipper, like I said, only goes to here opposed to going all the way down here. So really it opens, but it really doesn't open as wide as the bandolier opens, which is really nice. I really love that. Other than that, you obviously can tell the leather, this is complete leather, or this is leather with the canvas and the monograms. The monogramming on here is much larger and embossed, which I feel like makes it more of an elevated, classier look. So I feel like this is everyday bag, but it can be used for an all-nighter, kind of classier bag as well. The traditional Speedy, in my opinion, in the 30 is more floppier, like I said. It definitely has all this extra space where I'm not really filling this bag completely up all the way. I do like the 25 because it really is more sturdy. It doesn't have this extra room and on my body for someone a little smaller and petite, I feel like it looks really pretty and you can fill it up. It does fit a lot but that's kind of the size difference. So my first impressions of this bag is that, like I said earlier, it's absolutely stunning and perfect. I love the color. It's more of a taupey beige brown 
compared to a taupey gray, which online I couldn't really tell. I've seen other bags in this same color, but I had never seen the Speedy Bandolier before. I love the color. I think it's really classy. It's a really elevated look. Size-wise, this 25 is actually a perfect size for a Speedy, especially if you've never had a Speedy before. My first Speedy was the 30, and like I said, it was a little floppier, and there's a lot of extra space that's unused. This Speedy Bandolier is actually really a perfect size and I love love the zipper how it goes all the way down allowing for better access inside the bag the bag inside is also beautiful it's a really soft fabric compared to the traditional speedy which is more of the canvas inside so to sum it up, if you're thinking about purchasing the Louis Vuitton Bandolier, I would definitely suggest the 25. I really like it. I also know that the 20 does have the zipper that goes down all the way. But for me, this is absolutely a perfect size. And for a smaller person, absolutely a perfect size. Even if you're taller, I really think this is a great bag. And like I said, there is nothing wrong with it. It's absolutely perfect and definitely on the top of my list for Louis Vuitton bags. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. I will link another unboxing of another Louis Vuitton bag that I have after this video. So go ahead and check that out. And while you're at it, like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.